Sim. <laughs> well, will you? Don't worry. We're not bad guys. You give us some mora, we give you. Boss, I got a bad feeling about this. Look at her, the, the white hair, the, the energy she gives off. So what? She's loaded. How are we ever going to re- I've already told you. <sighs> if you still can't grasp that- Ah, uh, come on, ma'am. You s It's not about whether you need the info or not, okay? It's I won't- No more excuses! <sighs> yeah, I saw you. Strolling into Lee- Then she knew a kiosk. Then Wanmin restaurant. Same story, eat. How could you afford to be so wasteful if you weren't from a rich- <sighs> Master warned me not to lay a hand on any- But here we are. Boss, I'm telling you so- What are you afraid of? We're just selling information. It's not illegal. If she lays a finger on us, all the better. We'll oh, you again. Millilith? What, what, what are the Millilith doing here? Did you do this? Silence! How dare you threaten innocent civilians? <laughs> no, no, don't, 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 don't be angry, sir. <sighs> Shen He. Shen He? My name. Oh, so your name's Shen He. Hainan's name is... Oh, I've heard about you two before. Uh, I could have dealt with it myself, though. <sighs> I suspect... <laughs> This is Leela Harbor! Laws. <sighs> no. Really? So, how it... <sighs> That would be my stomach growling. Hmm, I haven't... She's so honest. Wait, that's right! They said you went around all the restaurants, then of course you're still hungry! Hmm, Chingson, Glaze Lily, Violet Grass. These are, hmm, medicinal herbs. Kinda hard to explain. Booboo Pharmacy's not far away. After all, you can't work on an empty s- Psst. Do you think Shenha might be an adeptus? It seems like it's her first time in Leo. Are you here to buy some herbs? I do hope you brought- Chingson, Glaze Lily, and Violet Grass, please. Ha what kind of prescription is this? Sounds more like a lunch order. <laughs> oh, here you go. That's everything. Thank you. She's really eating. <sighs> My hunger has now abated. Hmm, rather awful. <sighs> Though they were not completely devoid of sweet fragrance. So, how come you chow down on these and barely touch them? If Paimon had enough, Mora, Paimon would go to the fanciest restaurant in town. Because I'm not sure whether I will remain here in the future. The food of the mortal realm is most delicious. But should I return to the mountains, yearning for the food here, sampling each dish in order to appreciate its taste is enough. Return to the mountains? That proves it! Mm, enough about me. What are your plans? Oh, right! Paimon almost forgot! We came and... And now we're probably super behind because... Hmm, I see. I heard something about- <laughs> Yep! You get to ask Ningguang- Were you interested in the contest too, Shen Hmm. Huh? I came for the rebuilding of the Jade Chamber, but until this point I had no intention of joining a contest. However, you have shown me your kindness, and I would- Wow! You really don't have to! But having an Adeptus help out will make things a whole lot easier. Then let's not delay. I have a- Great! Paimon bets this- mm. I am not sure whether, or to what extent, this- We simply need to dispose of everyone who is currently ahead of us. Vito! That is- Really? But I hear that competition isn't a- Look, we want to win this comp- Sunset Vermilion Night, Wonder Course, and Adept- I was wondering who I could hear arguing over there. Bye, Hugh. What are you doing- Lady Ningguang wishes to purchase a large batch of wound dressing. We're running low at the- Huh? How can a lady mean one? I'm not too sure. I did hear she's looking to rebuild the Jade Chamber. Maybe for it. Oh, and she also borrowed Chi Chi. Meaning Boo Boo Farmer. No, no. We've got other stuff to do. 
Um, while well, you're here, though. Ah, the variety of plostrite used in the jade chamber, yes? There is some mention. As far as the records show, virtually all Sunset Vermilionite in existence has been mined and. Okay, then. Let's go ask at the Fayu. Thanks, Baiju. You're quite welcome. Good luck to you all. Master Singcho, thank good. Oh, why do I detect an urge? The guild has had a whole string of strange orders in recently. Everyone's been completely caught. Your father gave me specific instructions to ask you to stay and help out if I happen to see you. I see. Have someone sort the orders by type for now. I'll deal with them myself shortly. Oh, how wonderful! Thank you, Master. With you on the job, I can breathe a sigh of relief. Hey, Singcho, glad you're here. We want to ask you for some information. Traveler, Paimon, please wait a moment. Shu, I need to entertain some guests. Please continue with your work for the time being, and we'll discuss the matter of the guild's orders in more detail later. Understood, Master Singchio. Then I will leave you in peace. I wasn't counting on finding you here today. What's going on? Xingqiu, have you ever heard of Sunset Vermil- Oh, I see. So you've entered Lady Ningguang's contest as well. As well? Do you mean... The truth is, the Feiyun Commerce Guild is in possession of some Sunset Vermilionite. We are holding it on behalf of someone who has asked us to put it up for auction. And a lot of interested parties have already come to us in quite... At the end of the day, it all comes down to supply and demand. Five hundred million?! Honestly, I would recommend that you don't bother bidding on this one. The price is greatly inflated. But... But that is... Don't panic. I don't suppose you have- Who? Hmm. Seagazer was once very close to Mountain Shaper, but if I- Yes, precisely. I didn't know anyone else knew about him. According to records of Drifting Clouds, Seagazer once built an abode to store his rarest and most ex- After Seagazer passed, the abode was abandoned. Luckily, I came into possession of a stack of folk history books just recently. They make some oblique reference- That's great! Um, but is it- you needn't worry. As far as I understand, Seagazer was very open-minded. Open-minded? I have not heard of Seagazer being described in this way before. Just a rumor I heard out in the mountains. <sighs> All right then. Well, hmm. There's something about this young- Oh, I almost forgot. Adepti abodes tend to have very ingenious designs, especially when it comes to their defense mechan- Okay, we will be. Thanks. <laughs> was hidden using a special Adepti art. Wow, that's amazing! Yep, let's take another look around! Hey, look! Is that a new seal over there?
Weren't we at a waterfall just now? Oh, so many clouds. Hmm. I believe this is the abode of that. Ad With any luck, the sunset for million I Really? Let Paimon see! Look, it's gone and... And now that Paimon takes a closer look... Th These are not real clouds. They are the pro- If we want to go down, we must first destroy the mechanism. All right, then let's do it! I sense the presence of monsters in this place. I don't know where- Appears that we've been taken for intruders. This time, why not allow me to take care of this? Manifest! Think you can get away? The mechanism is exposed. Now's our chance. Wait! 
you can get away? Oz, reveal the <laughs> Midnight Phantasmagoria! Unleash!
Midnight Phantasmagoria! Manifest by Ordinance Divine! Prostrate doesn't float until it's activated. It may look different from most ordinary stones. Only after being activated does Plostrite reveal its true nature. Wow, Shenha. You Only because my master is fond of chatting about these things. The moment I don't care for her stories most of the time. Hold on a sec. Paimon just realized something. If we activate it here, there's no way we'll be able to get it back, but... If we don't activate it, how else are we gonna lift it? Don't worry. I can handle the weight quite easily. Are you sure? Uh, be careful. Please don't worry. I'm well aware that a Plostrite sample this large must be highly valuable. I will be gent- My safety. That's right! I'm unsure you can handle it and everything. But if something, you gotta be extra careful when lifting heavy objects. It's just common sense! Hmm. Is it now? I'll go on ahead with the Plostrite. Let's meet at the building site. How is Shenhe able to carry that huge rock all by herself? Huh. Except that super strength much? We can't slow... Oh my god, I can't believe my eyes. How can she lift that massive rock all by herself? Oh, mighty Adeptus, please give me your blessing so that in the coming year... This is top tier in size and quality, and the condition it's in is quite simply immaculate. I'm going to award you full marks for the sunset from a... My name isn't important. I'm not even here to compete. I was just delivering this for some other people. They should be here. Shenha! And Ningguang's little help! Ah, so you're the ones behind this. But I have to correct you on one point. It's not helper. <laughs> okay then, Miss Secretary. What do you think of the rock? In truth, it is the finest piece of plostrite we have received. If everything goes according to plan, we will use this piece in the foundation of the jade. As a side note, Lady Ningguang has rented some dwellings in the nearby area to serve as accommodations for the content. Now, please excuse me. As you can see, there is still... Shenhe! Shenhe! Just now on the way over, pretty much everyone was singing your praises! Oh, really? What kind of reaction is that? So whenever Paimon gets praised, Paimon can't ha I've had similar compliments before. They call me an Adeptus. 
treat me with great deference and respect. Yeah, cause that's how adept I are. At least the ones we've met are pretty unique and reclusive too. But uh, I am not... Uh... Shanna? <sighs> I'm fine. I've been exerting myself quite a lot ever since we set foot in that abode. Um, well, Byron said that there are some makeshift hotels. <sighs> no need. I simply need to find- You can't do that! It's dangerous out in the wild on your own! When you're hungry, you go eat something tasty. And when you're tired- Okay. Great! Now we're talking! Let's head to our hotel! Hi there! Checking in, are we? You're ch Since this was chosen as the building site for the new Jade Chamber, we've had a constant stream of people. So, business is booming for me today. Very few vacant. Great! One of your rooms is still being cleaned. I, I guess it should be ready within the hour. Here are your keys. All right. Shenha, you should go get some rest. Well, Hyman's gonna go see if there's anything good to eat around here. Let's buy one for Shenha, too. She can have it as a min- <sighs> All right. If you need anything, don't hesitate to disturb me. Mm-hmm. See you- Hey! Isn't that Cloud Retainer? Let's go and say hi. One trusts you have met Shen He. So far, so good. Yeah! Naturally. Save for Ganyu, who spends the majority of her time in Liyue. Cool! So, calling her Shen He feels kind of friendly, but also kind of disrespectful. So Paimon... Her adeptus name. Why, pray tell, would Shen He have an... Uh, don't all... On this latter point, you are correct. Right. What? You knew already? Do you mean to say that she presents differently from all- Well, to start with, her problem-solving methods are- Ah, oh, yes. She was like this all- One first found Shanha by chance in a cave. One was passing by and sensed the presence of a god's remains. Being of an ever-vigilant disposition, Inside was Shen He, then aged around six years old. In her hand, she held a dagger with which she was confronting a monster. That sounds so dangerous. When one arrived, she had already been locked in confrontation with this monster for several days. That she was able to endure such terrible danger was due not only to her strong willpower. One dealt with the monster. Yet she still refused to lower her guard. She even... In other words, if you hadn't passed by that day... Not necessarily. Upon one's arrival, one could sense that the god's wrath was gradually... That's still so dangerous, though! Why was a tiny little... Alas, the mortal world is rife with suffering of every kind. And she had ex... Indeed, it is one to whom she refers. Xian He has an extra. However, her homicidal urges did not subside with age. Moon Carver once performed a divination for her. He declared that her fate is to bear the curse of calamity. The red ropes have indeed served to keep her calmer and more content. They all. It is only by fate that people's paths may cross. Oh, now Paimon gets it. Huh. You dare draw such a facile conclusion on the nature of one's present excursion. Ningguang once made a bold assertion that this is to be the era if she handles it admirably. 
One is willing to be... Let us conclude our conversation here for today. One is... So, Shenhe isn't an Adeptus after all! She just grew... Master has relayed my situation to you, I take it. Oh? How did you know? I'd intended to wait until you came back before going to sleep, but I didn't... I was worried that something may have happened to you. So I... on top of this, you have been acting very strangely around me. After all, Master is... <laughs> Sorry, Shenhua. Paimon had you down as an Adeptus this whole time, but... It... It's okay. I don't mind. The fault is mine for not explaining everything to you sooner. Because in my experience, trying to... Still, though you mistook me for an Adeptus, you never treated me as distant and unapproachable. For this, I am very grateful indeed. To be fair, we've met our fair share of real Adepti, too. Anyway, now it's settled. From now on, you're our friend, whether you're an Adeptus... Got it. Although I don't know quite what it entails. Great! Well, now that we're all rested up, we should start... But before we do that, let's go to the building site and ask Ningwa... After all, Sunset Vermilionite is so rare. Paimon doubts many competitors will really be able to find any. Oh, and another thing. We bought some grilled chicken drumsticks on the way back last night. There was a place just outside. Here's one for you, Shenhua. Try it! They're so good. I concur. It has a rich flavor. Far more agreeable than those I've cooked for myself in the wilderness in the past. Something. That's because it's not finished. Hey, Bylin! And hey, Beto! And hey! Um, person Paimon doesn't know? Given the enormous scale of the Jade Chamber, we split the construction work into two phases to make sure the structure remains back. Before we find some suitable plostrite, we build the Jade Chamber's keel at ground. Once the plostrite is ready, we place it into the keel and let the partially constructed Jade Chamber rise up to the height of the surrounding mountain peaks. The remainder of the construction work is then carried out at that altitude. Once everything is- Miss Bywin, we've brought some new materials to submit. One moment, I'll be right there. The construction work has only been able to progress this rapidly thanks to the plostrite provided by you. Lady Ning Wong is most grateful and looks forward to seeing more of your work. Wow, can't believe you sourced the plostrite so quickly. It's the key piece of the puzzle. Beto, you're joining the Jade Chamber Contest too? <laughs> sure am. I happen to get my hands on a chunk of Sunset Vermilionite on a vo- huh. So even though it's rare, we're not the only ones who managed to get a hold of it. Oh, I've got some introductions to do. This is the renowned Miss Yun, or Yun Jin, probably the most famous. Greetings. These two are Paimon and the Traveler, both good buddies of mine. And this is, um, Shenhe. I am there. Mm, friend. <laughs> Good to meet you. A friend of a friend is my friend too. Or, as I like to say, a mate of a crewmate is part of- Miss Yun is also here for the contest. Turns out she needed to borrow a boat, so we came together. It's an honor to finally meet you both. I've heard much about you. Miss Shenhe, though we are only meeting for the first time, to be honest with you all, I am in great need of this opportunity to ask Lady Ningguang a question. That's why I joined the contest. Wow. So it looks like the three- Excuse me for prying, Miss Shenhe, but are you competing as well? No, I don't have any questions for Ning Wong. I just wanted to help him win. In that case, I have a proposal to make. 
Lady Ningguang said that the first three contestants to procure all three materials will be... Instead of competing against each other, we could work together. Sounds great, but... <laughs> I think I... The plastrite was the most difficult item to source by a long shot. Luckily, all three of us managed to get our hands on it. How'd I do? Is that... Precisely. Huh. Okay then. All right. I'll go first. From what I've heard, the core itself is really not that difficult to make. We will head into town and seek advice from Master Zhang. Of Wonderful. We'll split into teams then, and whoever makes pro- I'm gonna take off. See you later. Okay, let by the way, what question are you gonna- I'm looking for a venue to host the performance of our new opera. Ooh, what's the opera called? The opera is a labor of love by my father. He wrote it based on a p It's called... The Divine... me, Master Zhang. We were wondering if you'd heard of some- Of course I have. My name is Yunjin. Perhaps you don't know me, but I believe that you forged some weaponry for my- Yunjin? Stage use? Oh, <clears throat> sorry. My brain's finally caught up. <sighs> it's not used to- So, you're here to ask about wonder cores, huh? As it happens, I do- The types of ore needed to make wonder cores are a little hard to come by. Lady Ningguang supplied them herself last. No, we were gonna ask you what kinds of ore we need. <laughs> sure. Well, you'll need to. If I remember correctly, Lady Ningguang sourced her star splinter iron from the Mount Tianhung area. It could take some work, but if you stick with it, you'll find some eventually. Uh, I'm really not sure. Sorry. Of course, it's probably just hearsay. If you want my advice, start. Mount Tianhong. Interestingly enough, the story of the Divine Dam- I hear the view there is quite spectacular. Perhaps it can give me some inspiration. Let's not do- I came to Mount Tianung once with my father as a child. I remember it being such a long climb that I could barely feel my legs by the time we reached the top. <laughs> this is quite a trip down memory lane for me. Look at these majestic- No wonder the legend of the Divine Damsel of Devastation is said to have taken place here. The Divine Damsel of Devastation is your upcoming opera, right? What's the story about- It's- the story of a girl because Cool! A hero's- The legend first arose in this area. It is said that the in that village, there was a loving couple who were complete- The wife was out collecting herbs and was captured by the monster. Her hot- The vile and vicious monster told the villagers, If you- What a nasty piece of work! Ugh. But the monster was so terrible and so strong that all within the village were terrified just while they were discussing whose child would be given over to the monster. No! Don't do Unbeknownst to anybody else, she was concealing an exorcist's blade. She approached the monster's lair, feigning fear and trepidation. Her extraordinary abilities drew the attention of the Adepti, and they took her as one of their own. Her story became the stuff of legends, and so, destined to grace the mortal realm for but a brief moment. I really like this story. But I personally think that perhaps the little girl... I'm not sure she deserves all the praise she is given. Hmm, I've never cons... Opera is always an interpretation of the events it purports to portray. When my father wrote the script for this play, I suppose... Hmm. I think it's a great... Well, it sure inspired Paimon! Let's go get...
This is not the end. I think I saw a village on our way here. Master Zhang said we should ask the locals for help. Why don't we try there? <laughs> hey! There really is someone here! Yunjin, looks like you were right! Ex <gasps> huh. He didn't... Hello, sir. We were just passing by, and wanted to ask if you happen to know anything. <sighs> Is he trying to tell us to look for clues in the village? Shenhua, Yunjin, let's- Sorry, you can go ahead without me. I'd like to have a word with this gentleman. If that's okay with you, Uncle Mingjin. It's- Shenhua. Shenhua. You're a I'm sorry, I don't know how to find Subrosium. This place is deserted now. No one ever comes here. Huh? You know this guy, Shenhua? Uh... Thank you, kind sir. We'll go and take a look around. Don't worry. Mingjin has no ill intention toward- Okay. Then let's see what we can find in this- of a god, an abandoned village, Mount Tianhong. Does this mean that the true story of the dip the time frame certainly matches? So it seems we're in the right... Divine damsel? Now that I think about it, she does behave rather like an adeptus, and she is. So that's why I've been getting the strangest feeling whenever I chat with her. According to this text, the divine damsel from the opera 
was actually... And she didn't volunteer. She was sacrificed to the monster. Oh, the truth is even more lamentable than the opera. Now I understand why Shen He said the girl was not as brave as people say. Oh, it looks like my father may need to make a few revisions to his beloved opera. Hey, we've looked everywhere, but still no mention of Sabrosium. Let's have a look over there. Is this an answer from this world? Basically, we need to go to the middle of the lake south of Mount Tian. Let's go back and tell Shen Hu the news! <laughs> One year when I was back visiting, I heard a story about a white-haired adeptus from a merchant. I was a very close friend of your father's. I could have stopped him from performing the sun. I bring flowers back here every year. And each time- Apologize for what? If you'd stopped him, he'd only have found another way. There is nothing he wouldn't have done for his true love. Do you still hate him? I don't know what I feel. I'm told my fate is to bear the curse of calamity, so my master bound my soul with red ro So if you ask me how I feel about the past, if I hate my father or not. It must have been so tough for you all these years. Shenha, we're back! Oh, then I will leave you all in peace. Shenha, it brings me some solace. I'll tell you more about the old times next time we meet. Thanks, mister. We found some info in the end. Shenhe, look! This tells us how to find Sabrosium! Hm. Let's go then. Uh, Miss Shenhe, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. Just now, in the village, we found your father's diary. Why? I know I say that opera always deviates from the truth, but now that the main character is- It's okay. I like- uh, my master once said that the day I learn how to use my strength for the good- So, I hope that one day, I might be- But I've never thought this way before, and I wonder whether- Don't worry. I believe you would- In fact, I think maybe you've already started to become the person you- Xianhua! Yunjin! Cut the chit-chat! We can't let someone else beat us too-
What brings you here? Have they found a solution to the danger in the sea? Nin Guang didn't tell you. Something has happened in Guyan Stone Forest. According but these things can be unpredictable. Only a single mountain lies between you. If things get out of control, I will defend them. some top quality ore you found. Guess now it's my time to shine. Hey everyone, how's the A-team doing? I ran into a bit of a brick wall on my end. Suling's never seen a Wonder Core before. And... Leave the Wonder Cores to me. I'll work on them while you go about your business. Don't worry, <laughs> it won't take me too long. Much obliged, Master Zhang. We should look into the Adepti sigils next. But where should we find items relating to the Adept- I'll sort that out. Oh? Uh, you got this then? Yes. I have been training with the Adepti for years. I know a thing- When we first met, I told you I came for the Jade- In fact, I came specifically to deliver Adepti sigils. Master heard that Ning Wong was planning to re- Master also said she hoped that I can take this opportunity to rejoin human society. But now that I'm here, I want- maybe it won't work for me to stay here after all. Hm. But I- Without knowing the ins and outs of your situation, I can't say whether you should stay or not. But now that our paths have crossed, we'll always have a connection. So if you're ever feeling down, come find me on my ship. There'll be a drink waiting for you. Thank you. So, Master Zhang, I'll need to use you- Fine by me. I'm actually curious to see how the Adepti Arts work. Whew. The sigils are ready. <laughs> Though they are in some respects inferior to my- I've finished forging the things you asked for, too. Great! Let's go submit them before someone else gets there ahead of us! Ready? All three of you found them together. The Wonder Cores and Adepti Sigils look good. It's... I hereby announce that the winners of this ma- What? It's over already? Oh, I... Uh, so close, but so far. I'd like to invite our three winners to please proceed to the Jade... Huh? Where's Beto? Captain Beidou has some business to attend to. She will join later. All right, then. Guess we'll head on up to the Jade Chamber first. This has been a long time coming. The last... Combine the Adepti sigils with the Wonder Cores and insert them into the construction of the new Jade Chamber is now officially complete. Thank you all for your work. 
Yeah! Miss Yun, I've already heard something about the reason for your... That's right. Lady Ningguang, I would like to hear your opinion. The unveiling of Miss Yun's grand new opera surely requires a venue of equal grandeur. So what would you say if the Jade Chamber offers a splendid panoramic view of the mountains and the bustling city? Thank you, Lady Ningguang. Then You're quite welcome. It's truly- oh, A traveler? Shenhe? Paimon? You're next. What is your question? I should clarify. I do not know your sister's way- Wow! You're a mind reader, Ningguang! Managing a successful business is not as simple as you might think. Capital, if you want to know how to make money, I will honor our agreement and give you an answer. But that is not to- Wow! Paimon hadn't even asked the question yet! Your question was written all over your face. Now look, you helped me rebuild the jade, so I promise you that should you one day require financial assistance, you may see- <gasps> So next time we run out of more, we do no more questions from us. Shenha, you got a question? Me? Yes, this is a group effort. Thank you, but I don't have anything to ask. Are you sure? This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Uh yeah, just don't waste it. Uh, hold on a second. Paimon can- Lady Ningguang, do you think I can ever fit in in Liyue Harbor? Now that is an interesting question. Liyue Harbor is very inclusive. As long as you respect the rules here, you will not so. The key is whether or not you yourself can develop a sense of belonging in the- Oh, huh. a sense of belonging? Yes. To become fond of a place, to feel part of it. Perhaps someone you've met or something you've experienced here. In short, everyone needs a reason to stay. Huh. I see. Hey, what's going on? I just went to see the fleet I'm a little later than expected. Come on, Beetle! It's your turn! Do you have a question for Ningguang? Me? <laughs> nah, I ain't got any questions. She forced me to help out, so I figured I may as well get involved with the contest. Ningguang, don't forget what we talked about. It's not gonna be easy to deal with. I don't think my fleet can take it on. Don't worry. I have made preparations. The wound- <sighs> Glad to hear it. Watch your back. Stay alert. Beetle? Ningguang, what- You'll see when the Jade Chamber ascends. However, it's not the most pleasant topic of conversation.